Welcome to this sheet metal tutorial guys in this video I will explain you how to model this door hinge and how to assemble it so let's begin click on part and click ok because we are working in a part file for now we will work in assembly file in a while select your top plane and click on sketch from here select center rectangle tool and make here a center rectangle like this now let's define it select smart dimensioning tool and here specify the length of this line as 55 millimeter and length of this line as 100 millimeter and after that right click here in tabs you need to select your sheet metal when you click here the sheet metal tab will get enabled and here we have the baseline tab tool from here specify the thickness of the plate i am specifying here 3 millimeter and now specify the material you, you like this is the appearance this is an optional step and then we have this tool hem when we select this tool here we need to select this edge and a hem will create it from here you can specify any shape you like i'm specifying a fourth one and from here i'm specifying here the degree 300 you can see it from here you can increase it from here as well 300 degree is fine for this case and 4.05 specify it here although you can increase and decrease let me show you and then check this box from here uh, let's specify the material again and now we need to select here break corner and in this window we need to specify these two corners one and two and these are two different options available this is fillet light like tool we need to specify the radius so i'm specifying here 10 millimeter as radius and here you can see it is applied and now we need to select this face and click on sketch and from here select a circle because i want to cut hole here trace this the center point of the previous fillet and also trace it here and make a circle here as well so i have made three circle now specify only diameter of one circle so i am specifying here as five millimeter now press escape button and hold control key select all of these three circles and here make relation as equal or otherwise you need to specify the diameter of three circles so this is fully defined and now select here extruded cut in the feature tab because i want to cut through holes so i'm specifying here through all and then check this box from here three holes will be available now and now select here fillet tool and select all of these corners one two and the this edge of third circle and after that we need to specify here the radius i'm specifying at three millimeter fillet tool has been applied now select this face and click on sketch select your center line from center to this point and then this point make center lines now select corner rectangle and make here a corner rectangle like this and again uh, this time i'm selecting a center rectangle trace here the center of the center line or you can select the corner rectangle and make symmetric relation this is up to you here specify the distance between these two at 25 millimeter as you can see this is fully defined but i have to mirror entity so select here mirror entities and select here uh, these four lines or the rectangle in mirror about window you need to select this center line and it will get mirrored now as i want to cut this so go to feature and select extruded cut and here we need to select through all both because i want to cut a in both directions and now simply check this box from here and here we have the part one this is ready so now we need to save it for that go to file and save as here you can write any name i'm writing here as part one and then save 
again save it save it as part 2 because we are going to use the same part and we will modify it so save as part 2 now delete this extruded cut from here and delete the sketch as well this sketch as well and now select this face and click on sketch and after that select your center line and make the same center line from this point to this point and this point this should be straight now press escape button select your corner rectangle and make here a corner rectangle like this after that select smart dimensioning tool and specify the length of this rectangle as 25 and from this line of the rectangle to this center line the distance is 12.5 millimeter and then select here mirror entities if and if anything else is selected here just select and delete this because in this window i want to select only this rectangle and mirror about window we need to select the center line and here it will get mirrored now select a extruded cut and similar fashion we need to select it through all both so that it can be extruded cut in both directions and here you can see now part 2 is ready as well so press ctrl s button and then go to file and select here make assembly from the part when you click it it will take some time and the assembly file will automatically open you have to double tap here and change the background to plain white and now we need to insert part one because this is part two which is already available click here browse and select part one and then click open button now it is available here we need to reorient it for that we need to select a rotate command and rotate it in proper orientation this is fine for now and now let's assemble it for that we need to click on mate and after that we need to select our mechanical mates and here we have specific mate available that is hinge we have two different uh, windows available if anything by default is selected in this window just select and delete these two windows should be cleared in this upper window we need to select this this circular circumference of one and this and this circular profile of the other one make sure to select inner both in this second window which is the coincident selection we need to select this flat face and this flat face when we select it it will automatically get assembled because we have specific mechanical mate available in SOLIDWORKS and now in order to properly uh, assign it some angle for rotation we need to go to mates select air mate and here we have go to advanced mates here we have mate for the angle as well so this is the mate for angle when we select it from here in this window we need to select both of the faces one and two both of the faces will get selected and here we need to specify the angle in the upper one we need to specify positive angle and then the lower one we need to specify the negative angle so i'm specifying 30 and minus 30 when you check this box from here and here you can see this is a constraint it will only move 30 to minus 30 degree if you want to update the angle you can update it from here go to edit feature and here i am this time i am specifying here minus 60 and 60 degree it will get updated and we have more mobility or more motion available let me show you here you can see we have more motion available so like this you can uh, specify any angle you like it will work from 0 to 360 degree you can go into positive and negative values as well so like this you can adjust this angle in solidworks so that's how we create door hinge in SOLIDWORKS. If you find this video helpful, then please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.